Last week, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said his agency will keep interest rates unchanged. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports the U.S. added 263,000 jobs in April. Both developments indicate the U.S. economy is strong. So do small businesses find conditions favorable to make significant moves? To help us find out, we have Bank of America Senior Vice President, Small Business Banking Manager Michael Williams, and Steve DeHaan, founder and CEO of Red Phone Booth, Hospitality Group, and Amalfi Pizza. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's start with Bank of America. You all did a survey about optimism among small businesses. Yes. Atlanta entrepreneurs seem pretty positive. What's yeah. behind that? Yes, they are, actually. Uh, Atlanta small business owners are very positive, uh, specifically about the local economy. And, and what the uh, study showed us that 87% are planning to expand their business within the calendar year. Another 71% are expecting an increase in revenue. And what's even more exciting is 37% are expanded, expecting to hire more. So, Steve, I got to turn to you. Are you seeing that in your own business? Are you planning to hire, seeing revenues expected to go up, and that sort of? Th What's your experience? Everything that he just said is is exactly what we're seeing. Uh, we track it weekly, and year over year, we're running at about 25 percent growth year over year. Wow. Um, we're expanding. Uh, we're in restaurant business, so we're expanding uh, to a space adjacent to us with a, a sushi restaurant, and currently have a letter of intent on a 12,000 square foot restaurant in the Buckhead area as well. What is it about the local economy that has you so positive? There's just a lot of energy and excitement. I think that the, the leadership of the government has done a great job kind of laying the pathwork for that, the groundwork, whether it be through the Georgia Film Credits and, and things that they've done to bring in uh, that side of it, uh, as well as the uh, investment in the, the sporting infrastructure, you know, having the teams, the MLS excitement, and everything else that goes along with it. It just, it's created a lot of buzz and a lot of excitement and, and just a lot of opportunity. But Michael, where are some opportunities for, for small businesses to grow? Were there some areas in the survey where you said, well, that's something that could be, could be improved for small businesses? You know, um, many small business owners um, really had a, a concern around the political environment. Right? They're really concerned about the political environment. It actually surpassed health care costs as the top concern uh, for this calendar year. Was it uncertainty or? It, it's more of an uncertainty, right? There was some, you know, real optimism around uh, last year around the tax reforms and this year what we're starting to see is folks are pretty neutral, right? 50% are saying that the uh, tax reform, you know, really didn't have a impact on their business. So they were neutral on the impact that the tax reform had on their business versus about 42% that felt it was a game changer. Last year, it was predicted that it would be about 64% or higher that were predicting uh, the tax reform to be a game changer wow. for the business. Wow, yeah. One of the things that um, we're also seeing, and I think the survey also mentioned, was uh, how small businesses are dealing with potential threats, whether they be cyber threats or mm -hmm. even uh, reputational hits, mm -hmm. reviews. Do you have a strategy for that, Stephen? What are you guys doing? Well, we maintain a metrics that we evaluate every week, but really we have to take a step further and evaluate that real time. So I actually get alerts on my watch when someone posts a review, positive, negative, whatever, and we share that real time with the management staff. And you know, if it is a negative review or a concern or something voiced, you know, ideally we like to try and, and take care of it then and resolve it. And hopefully the customers, you know, guest is still there on property, and we can we can you know do whatever whatever is possible. That's really fast uh, solutions coming to the customer, and that's really what they want. They want something resolved pretty quickly. Most of the time, it's really being being heard, and and most individuals provide that feedback and just to give you positive feedback. They're, they understand the challenges of a small business owner and they want you to succeed. Yeah. Uh, what are the biggest challenges that you see in the next 12 months for small businesses? You know what? Um, the landscape is very optimistic, right? Uh, small business owners are looking to uh, apply for credit. So right about 21 percent are saying they're going to apply for loans. And I think for most of us it's around talent. And so when you think about identifying top talent to help us move the business community forward, it is going to be critical. And Steve, for you, what's the biggest challenge in the next 12 months? You know, it's, 
really it's going to be the labor pool and, and uh, hiring, uh, on, especially on the entry level, is really where we have the hardest time hiring today. Really? Um, the skilled individual is always looking for the great opportunity. It seems as if the, uh, the individual that's, that's more entry level, they tend to bounce from job to job. Mm -hmm. And uh, so finding that person that's committed and wants to learn and grow with you, that's been the challenge for us. Well, we'll have to end it there. Thank you both for being with us today. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you.